I never knew. Written and told by Christina Wang. Tech class had just started, and the two inseparable best friends, Angela and Francine, were sitting beside each other. Instead of finishing their work, they decided to chat. You won't believe me, but I just heard the funniest thing," whispered Francine. "Okay, what is it?" answered Angela. "Girls, that's enough," interrupted Miss Burns. "Angela, why don't you move to that table?" Angela did as she was told, but Francine couldn't wait to tell Angela, so she opened her Etsy account and hit the new message button. And typed Angela Adams' name into the to section. She typed her message and hit send. Angela saw the red dot appear beside her message icon, and clicked on the new message. It read, "I was talking to Rachel at lunch in the bathroom, and she told me that Selena had a crush on Justin. Can you believe it?" That Selena even likes boys. She practically is a boy herself with her baggy clothes and spending all her time playing sports. Isn't this so funny? Angela typed her reply. LOL. There's no way any boy is ever going to be interested in her because she has worse body odor in the whole school. And her breath stinks too. I know, right? It's totally relatable. Like, I mean, like, I, I just I know, can't like, believe that Justin would ever like her. I know, it. right? It's so, so, true. True. so, so true. disgusting. So, like, oh my goodness! Like, yeah, I know. Not she even pretty. Oh my goodness! Like, oh wow! Well, like, I, mean, I should like, post like this on Instagram, you know? Out of all the messages they typed, Francine had an idea. She went into her Edsby group and took a screenshot of Selena's photo and did the same with Justin's. She opened Photoshop and put both pictures in. Drew a big heart around the two. Next, she added squiggly lines coming out of Selena's armpits and drew a text bubble from Justin that read, "I smell something stinky." She sent the message to Angela and everyone except for Selena. The next day. The next day at school, Francine and Angela were on their way to school, still laughing about the Photoshop picture of Selena and Justin. While Francine and Angela were laughing their heads off, Selena was walking to school, head down, and back slouched, as if her backpack weighed a ton, her eyes teary, and hair a mess. She hasn't even bothered to brush her hair. Or dress her best. Last night, she was scrolling through Instagram and found the Photoshop photo posted online. She felt betrayed by Rachel, and most importantly, hurt by the message. At first, when she saw the photo, she decided to ignore it and act as if nothing had happened. However, it was impossible to ignore. Everyone online was tweeting about it. Instead of ignoring everything and moving on, she was crying a river full of tears, silently hoping no one would hear her. She wanted to be left alone, but at the same time, she wanted to talk to someone. She thought of talking to her parents, but she thought it would be a little awkward telling her mom and dad that she had a crush in the rumors going on. Then she thought of her best friend, Rachel, but she was the one who told Francine about her secret, not so secret crush. So she was left with no choice but to keep it to herself. Whatever. So, at dinner, her mom seemed to notice something unusual about her. Selena was poking at her food, not even eating a single thing. Are you okay, Selena? You're not eating anything. Is something wrong with my food? Asked her mother concernedly. Yeah, I'm fine. Nothing's wrong with your food, answered Selena, not wanting to talk. 
Okay, said the mom, knowing that her daughter didn't want to talk. At school, Rachel walked past Selena without saying hi or smiling. Even worse, a group of girls walked right up to her, looking at her weirdly. Then one of the girls asked, How often do you shower and do you use deodorant? And the group of girls walked away laughing. Instead of speaking up, Selena walked away looking down at the floor on her way to her gym class. Gym was her favorite class. She loved everything they did in gym, but not today. Gym was not fun. Instead of confidently running for the soccer ball, she shrunk into herself, running uncomfortably. Instead of having a partner, she was left alone. At lunch, she couldn't hold it in anymore. She wanted to stop all of the rumors. So, she stood up and walked right up to Rachel, face to face. Hi, Rachel. I thought you promised to keep my secret a secret, spoke Selena, holding herself together. Yeah, well, um, uh, stuttered Rachel, looking down, embarrassed. Rachel, I'm the one who hurt, not you, said Selena. I know. I'm sorry. It's not my fault that you have body odor and don't use deodorant, replied Rachel. Hurt than ever, Selena turned around and ran towards the washroom as the lunchroom mocked her. Miss Lattell was the only teacher who saw and heard everything in the lunchroom. She asked several bystanders who were the main students involved in the whole commotion. The results were Rachel, Francine, Angela, and Selena. Miss Lattell arranged a day to discuss and fix the problem. On the day. So girls, we're all here for a reason. Can someone please tell me why? Spoke Miss Lattell. Yes, replied Selena. Someone made fun of the fact that I liked a boy and that I have body odor by using Photoshop and sending it to all the grade sevens, except for me. It became viral and really hurt my feelings. Yep, yeah, that's true. But Selena, I never knew it would hurt your feelings, said Francine. I'm sorry. Me too, tagged in Angela. Well... I think you are just plain sensitive, said Rachel. Girls, now that we've learned a little bit about each of our perspectives on this problem, I would like to dismiss you all, and you must put our discussion into thought. By tomorrow, please write me a note on what you learned from this discussion and how you feel about it.